Ball target would be the the land or the enclosure belong to the that enclosed the priest land, wouldn't it? <coughs> yeah, they, they, they had that name in England, priest fields. They used yeah, to call it. Well, that's the road down to Clone Boy. Yeah. And this is the road uh, coming down towards Palmerstown. Yeah. And this one goes on down towards Tuvi. And that's the state of the house there where the monk stayed, which was called, I think they don't want to call it the Fall of Oh, well, yes. Yes. Well, th th that rise is called Moloch Necrosia too. It is. Yes. It's there marked on the map there. Yeah. About four acres or something, three big fields. Yeah. Surprising in a way that that name was allowed to uh, continue on, and the, the number of other ones that were lost. Well, there's supposed to be a, a priest hanged out of the upper one of the upper windows here. The legend has it that he buried a chalice here, but we don't know. And his name could be. Uh, yes. Uh, well, I, I never heard it. I don't know. I mean, I'd be only guessing. The Father Thomas Madigan, wasn't it? Well, he was the last. <clears throat> he was the last one there uh, to live in the place. Yeah, around 1726. Mm. Yeah. Well. <clears throat> Uh, I, I got the impression though that he just, you know, that they have a date for his death within five years of it, 1785. Yeah, but down there now is the pound of the of stone and these are the three pieces over here. Yeah. Yes. It's left of this row here, by the pirate. Mm, yes. The little amount of land that was left to the monks after they had been chased out of uh, that of, Yeah, that's right. So they would have been there from 1577. Fall of Taggart. Joyce states that fall signifies a hedge or wall, the fence that separated the lands of two adjacent occupiers. It is used in this sense in our oldest law tracts. In local names, it often designates the land enclosed by a fall. This is a modern, a modern application, which has no existence in the Irish language. Now, the Burgo, the historian of the uh, Irish Dominicans, tells us that after the expulsion of the community from Rafran, which was down here, some of the friars settled down in the neighbourhood, keeping an eye on the ancient home. It tells us that he visited the place in 1756 and that he found five of them living in a thatched cottage uh, at Mullach Macrasher, within a quarter of a mile from the abbey. Now, I've heard that this is the remains of the thatched cottage that was in it uh, then. And as a matter of fact, the site of this cottage, now known as Fall Target, is still in possession of the Naxos, though they have long since uh, parted with the remaining possessions of the abbey. He said that he uh, heard uh, it stated that at Carrickheel at the foot of Nathan, that would be in that direction up there, the seat of the late water buck, a chalice belonging to the abbey was kept. This information is taken from the Royal Irish Antiquities of Ireland. In 1856, Richard Ford uh, was the occupier of Fala Taggart here. Thomas Palmer was the immediate blesser. He lived down this direction. The area was four and a quarter acres and Ford paid Five pound five annually in rent. It had land house, offices, and one cottage. It belonged to the old parish of uh, Temple Murray. The house in the background, known as Fall of Target, some people call it. <coughs> yes. Um, well, it was only one of many. <coughs> the Ordnance Survey sheet now so it shows a number of others too. And in, I think 1757 it was. There were some uh, tourists around here, and he talked about the cluster of miserable cabins <coughs> at Murray and Crusher. Now, Daphne Potion Wall, who's written about the Dominicans, <coughs> including Raffran, uh, says that um, Raffran was the uh, Monastery of the Holy Cross. Well, I, I think she made a mistake in that. <coughs> the Mullah would be the height here that we're standing on. Uh, <coughs> and the cross could be either the crossroads um, or a crucifix <coughs> to show that it was monastery land. Yeah. <coughs> and I think that's uh, just as likely. Now the <coughs> the lands, uh, including the site of the abbey, <coughs> were granted uh, in 1577 to Thomas Dexter. <coughs> His family would have been the founders of the um, the Raffran Priory, uh, and it's included here. <coughs> no, that was it. Uh, in case what I said previously now may be a little bit confusing. Uh, what I intended to say was that after the monastery was suppressed, <coughs> the monks came to live here. So that this would have, uh, would have been built in or about 1577, yeah. uh, because by that time the it was confiscated, and they were allowed to stay on here. Um, now I happen, the it's on record also that they had a school, <coughs> that they taught reading, writing, the TRs here uh, to the local children, 
um, the last um, Dominican <coughs> of whom the, there is record uh, is a father D Dennis Maher and he died between 1785 and 1789 <coughs> so we have a, I have a number of lists in 1731 um, there was a father Thomas Flanagan uh, lived here and there was a James Wallace <coughs> who was living in Balasakiri but who was also a Dominican <coughs> in 1743 um, there's a list of um, monks who were attached to our friend and there was Thomas Flanagan Prior, Michael Burke, Dominic Philbin, the parish priest of Adderford, I think that was Adderford, also a Father Brehany, Francis Healy, Michael McDermott now, they were attached to the monastery, but they needn't necessarily all have resided here. Uh, yeah. I doubt very much if they would have been allowed to stay for very long. They would have been here and there, wherever, wherever they got shelter. Yeah. 1756, then, we have another list. Richard Bellew, Thomas McEvelyn, Dominic Philbin, Thomas Bannett, uh, and Patrick MacDonald. Uh, <coughs> here's a quotation now from uh, William Winman Stewart, who wrote a kind of a topography uh, in 1797. He says, there is a small village here consisting of a few wretched cabins. And um, as I've already said, <coughs> the, there are a number of cottages, or the remains of a number of cottages um, <coughs> on the Ordnance Survey sheet. Uh, and there are still the remains of three to be seen. At the back here? Yeah, yeah. well, uh, at the back and two on the other side of the road. Yeah. You'd never hear of a man being hanged here at any stage of another or through one of these windows. I didn't, but then uh, <coughs> that could that yeah. could have been the case. Yeah. Uh, and it, it's the tallest building round about. Yeah. <coughs> it was a two-story. You can see the room where the blocked up windows were there. Uh, yeah. And inside, there's a fireplace in that gable. Uh, in that gable. And <coughs> the other chimney then would be for the lower section. Yeah. And was a thatch roof, you can see some of the scrawls still remain. Yeah, yeah. But that isn't certainly would be the original roof. And it was lived in by people later on then. I think the oh, paddles yes. here yeah. lived in it later on. Yes. Yeah. Well, and before that did. Yeah. yeah. Found yeah. in the more holes. In this house here? Yes. yes. Yeah. Peter of Wood. Yeah. They went up to uh, they went up to Kilpine, they I see. Uh, yes. From here. Yes. And what the uh, before that again then? There was some other, there was a, a woman before that, I think it's the name of Karen, I know her, Karen or something. Ah. Living here? Ah, yes. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who was the blacksmith who was across the road there? McGuinness. Ah, oh, yeah. The be uncles now were grand uncles of George. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's where they lived foot, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. And there's another house then, um, just behind this one here. You know, there's the gable of a, there's the gable of a house standing there. Oh, there was a stable, there was there. Oh, oh little right. houses, but there was a house here, from the back. Ah, yes. There was a house, Ford, there was. I see. Ford. Yes. Oh, his name back. is there, Richard Ford. Going back there, Mr. Ford, you know, she was up here. Richard. Uh, Mr. Ford. Mr. Ford. Ford. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I yeah. heard of them Ford, all right. Yeah. They owned the Summer Clown Boy land still, didn't they? That was that, they weren't living in that house, and one of them had that house above Robert, say. Yeah. You know, where uh, Bernard Dugan was living. Yeah. The cow house now, right? Like. Yeah, I know. There yeah. Some of them lived there. There was a few women in the moment. Yeah. Uh, More of them lived here, than they? They died finally above there. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. well, well. Yeah. yeah. That there was a very lower head there in some place one time. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, right on top of it, but I didn't know how they could be buried in because it's very light ground. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was yeah. a buried in there in some place. So there could be a pile of stones here and there could be under it. That's all on a for gravel, you see, there are all sort of a rock. You don't know there it is. So you never heard of a tunnel in it, no? No, you never heard of it. No, I never heard of it. But when I was uh, inside there, and the one my field there, just inside the fence there, yeah. you can hear an echo around the boat, and you speak, you're shouting, and you can hear a sound run away from you. Can you? You can. Yeah, yeah. inside there. Whatever the idea you put yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd often hear it in some place, but you can hear it very, very easy. There. Yeah. There. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this road is here a long time. Oh, it is, I suppose. It is. Oh, there's an old road, isn't there? Mm. Well, did they widen this corner in your time now? I know. It was always that way. It was always that way, too. Mm. Did you ever hear of the old road from Chilcombe going up across the hills out there to Knoxville? Where did it go? Um,